All right, this is part two. Or maybe we're just going to do ASMR. I'm annoyed with this one. These are the two stories that came to mind. So the one that I just told, and then this one is not a story, but just a recent event. So I made friends with somebody, or so I thought, who got really close to me really fast, right? I mean, we were FaceTiming every day. We were talking every day. And I remember at one point I was like, wow, this is so awesome. Finally, a relationship that's reciprocal. You know, a friendship that's reciprocal. And she just told me things, like deep, dark things. That I wouldn't openly admit to somebody that I just met, but that's just me. So obviously, like, I thought we were getting really, really close and she trusted me. And then she just started pulling away. And I was, I'm respectful of boundaries. I'm very respectful of boundaries. And I could sense that she, like, needed her space, right? So I gave her her space. Weeks went by. Months went by. Well, I called her one more time, and it was everything was fine. And I just told her, I was like, yeah, I haven't heard from you. You know, I'm not going to try if, like, you're you're not going to try. Like, I openly told her that. And then that was the last time that, like, we ever communicated up until recently. But after that, weeks went by, months went by, a year went by. Never heard from her again. I was like, okay. Not my loss, you know. But still, you're, you're sitting there asking questions like, why? You know? So, this person also made videos. And I avoided their channel for a year. And I actually got, I deleted all of their comments off of my channel because I just didn't want to be tempted to even look back at theirs. But somebody had commented an old video. And I guess I had forgotten one comment. So I went back to her videos. And one of the most recent ones was, Dear Diary, I'm a bad friend. I was like, no shit. I wasn't even going to click on it. I wasn't, but I was really curious. Now, let me just say this. Do I think this video is specifically about me? No. But watching it as somebody who was once her friend was very interesting because, honestly, I don't even think I crossed her mind once. So it's obvious that she's, like, done these things to other people. But she was just so in her feels. Just, like, seeking an answer. Like, seeking, like, very, very full of confusion, frustration, disappointment. Just a lot of soul searching. I'm paraphrasing here, but the parts I remember were, you know, there are people that I have stopped talking to throughout my life. Well, she said that she only had, like, three friends, and she's been in a long-term relationship for a very long time. So I understand that all the energy she wants to put is into, like, that relationship. But she's like, yeah, I only have three friends, and it's a two-way street. She said that. But some people just need constant companionship, and when I need my space, you know, they get offended. Right? Right? Um, so just a lot of like feeling, feeling kind of bad that she knows deep down, like not even deep down that she's a terrible friend, but she was trying to make excuses for it. Like, oh, well, there's people who complain about everything and don't do anything to change it. You know, it's really exhausting for me to give so much of myself to so-and-so and all this stuff. And I completely get that. But the part that really got me was the people who need constant companionship because Me being on the opposite side of that, at least in the beginning, she was just like constantly, constantly, you know? And I gave her that time of day because I thought it was equal, you know? It was like dating. We were like starting to date each other, starting to get to know each other, 
just really deep diving into like personal shit. So I just felt very like she was looking for excuses as to why she's had like falling outs with these people, people. And I wasn't going to say anything, but then I just commented and I was very professional to the point. And I just said, it's interesting watching this as someone who tried to be a friend. I was like, you remind me so much of my old friend who needed space all the time. But I think the bottom line is communication. You know, you can't just expect someone to give you space and then you go ghost, you know? And I think I'm more upset because I never got closure, you know, like, I know at this point, and I knew then from videos I talked about before, to not take it personal because she clearly has mental instabilities, as we all do, as I have my own, where she's trying to justify pushing people away. Because I am one of the good ones, and I did give her time of day, and maybe she just reassessed that and didn't realize, like, realize that she didn't want to give that much energy to me or to anybody else, but I said, you know, you remind me so much of my old friend who needed space. I think the bottom line is just communication. Like, tell me that you need space, and then we reconvene. You don't just go ghost on people. I didn't say that part. And I was like, from another perspective, would you think that maybe you're the one that needs constant companionship and you're too scared to receive that? So before you continue it, you just cut the cord before anything else can progress. And I said, wishing you well and hope you find the peace you're looking for. And she commented back like a day later, like, yeah, hey, thanks for the perspective. It's definitely something to think about. Uh, Yeah, duh. I know that I wasn't the problem in that situation. Like, maybe she looked for things that she found at fault in me. But to be fair, like, if I am one of the people that she was talking about that were, like, constantly complaining and not doing anything to change, she was constantly, like, asking me things. But towards the end, wasn't really telling me much about herself. People are weird, man. Like, these are the people that I attract. Emotionally unavailable people who pretend to be emotionally available. And then they just pull away. But... On a positive note, I have been making neighborhood friends. We made friends with another married couple who also have um, a dog, two dogs. We've been going out for uh, morning coffee the past couple weekends. And, you know, I just have faith that I'm going to draw in the good ones, you know? I didn't even make a dent on this. Oh, but yeah, what I was saying before, don't bring charcuterie to a party that's more than two people. Maybe four. But you're just handpicking at these bitches, you know? I get really mad when someone's about to take the one that I want because it's the best looking one. Charcuteries are meant to be between yourself or one other person, okay? I think I'm going to just gonna save this bottle of wine, like, just to drink with y'all on a separate occasion to talk the cheese me, but, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Peace out.